Celeste says, in need of help, I am in charge of taking all of our documents from one team's account to another. What is the easiest way to do this? We are talking no less than 5,000 files. Everything was saved under one channel. Can I just point out here that yes. uh, for the last few years, we kept bringing up like this scenario, teams to teams migration scenario, oh. and was got pushed back from Microsoft like, that's not an act. Like we we don't see that happening. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, they were like prepared for this kind of functionality. Now they've added some stuff since then. There's yes. you know it, kind of the file explorer model of dragging and dropping and manually moving things around. May not want to do that for five thousand files. Summer intern. Yeah. yeah. Somebody with the time on their hands and. Gee. Low hourly rate to sit there and yeah. move things across. I mean, we uh, joke, but I do know companies that do that for some of this kind of grunt work. Um, I have no problem mentioning, you know, uh, migration vendors and solutions that are out there. But yeah, third party uh, folks. But, yep. But this and, is a. Oh, go ahead. Was it a couple of questions? Well, really one question because terminology, right? There's a terminology thing here from one team's account to another. I feel like she means like from one team to another team. Do that's we, how I interpret it as well. That's how yes. I'm interpreted as well. Um, you, you have options though, for sure. Yeah. If if you're like, okay, we created this one team, we threw everything into the general channel, and now we have regrets. So we're going to go create this nice new team with multiple channels in it. Um, I'm going to kick it old school for a second. If you don't want to spend money on a tool you'd rather spend money on the time then i would recommend going to that original location in sharepoint creating some views some metadata something then grabbing that content in batches small batches and you could do the copy too mm -hmm. right and making sure your metadata matches up in both locations and copying it over that's the long but Kind of cheap way the to long, do the it. longhand version. This is doing yes. math without the calculator. Yes. Yes. But Christian, third party tools, they're out there and they're beautiful. ShareGate's my favorite migration tool. Yeah. And it makes it really easy to say, take this, put it over here. Yeah. So I know a lot of people, and, and I say the same thing, point people to ShareGate. Obviously, there are other tools that are out there if you are mm -hmm. already using other solutions, you might have already paid for and have. A migration tool in there. So there's a few that can do it. But this whole scenario of teams to teams migration, because I mean, I spent my back in my SharePoint admin time. How many times do, do organizations reorg? I don't know, all the time? Every six um, months, whether they build. need to or not. And so, right. <laughs> and, and, and so instead of, you know, constantly orphaning sites and content out there, um, you utilize a tool. I always say that it's not migration. It's about change management. And, sure. but you need that, that migration capability to go and do mm -hmm. it. I, I just think that there's a, uh, I I've look, I've told the ShareGate people this, I I told this to the quest people like to, to bill it, to sell it as a, not a one-time migration that I use to move from a version to each other, but sell it as a change management product that every organization needs to have for when stuff like this happens. Yeah. Yep. And it happens. I mean, I see some organizations that regret the everything in the general channel. Cause if you, if you do that, a lot of times you see really deeply nested folders in the files tab folders are the F word in SharePoint. You, and that applies to teams too, cause that's where that stuff really lives. You don't want to do that nested folder. So, we break those folders out, build them as channels. So just the ability to migrate content within the same team from one channel to another. Could I do a move to or copy to? Sure. Five thousand items. Which is great when it's right. What is it's great when you have just a handful of things, you start your stuff up. But yeah, when you get into this volume of content, mm -mm. ain't nobody got time for that. Right. Really. And if well, you're not in IT, if you are a business owner trying to manage this, ask IT if they have a migration tool. They might have something 
that could help you. I'll just throw that out there. Sometimes we're not the best at advertising, you know, the tools that are in the tool belt. I was just going to throw out there. I don't think it's a time issue. I think it's a cost issue because I've got plenty of time if people want to pay me that hourly for me to go and do it. It's very expensive, my time to go uh -huh. do that. Time but is I'd be, money. I'd be happy to do that. Happy? I would be willing to do that <laughs> at the full rate. Yes. <laughs> It's just so you know, people do this is my, as a consultant, this is my, it's the rate that I give when I don't want to do it, but if they pay it, but like, oh, all right, I'll do it. Yes, I Cause I, in, in two months, I will make my annual salary. That's okay. I'll do it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>